Me and Ricky are at a pretty freaky haunted house in New Orleans called the House of Shock. And they're about to open for the public for the first time this season, and they got a possum running around inside. So me and Ricky ran in there to try to find him, and we did. Oh, he's got a wire. Wait, R Ricky, stop. The thing is on my foot. See it? Ah! It's on my foot, dude. Get out! Okay, thanks. Hold on. Ready? Hold on. Okay, uh, get a. You got a screwdriver or something? Wait, is it getting. Pry it open with a screwdriver. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. That thing was holding on for dear life, man. It was insane. And no matter what you do, they just play dead. I guess they're the perfect animal for a haunted house. Zombie possums. Can you slide it sideways? Does it go sideways? Hold on, hold on wait, stop, I'm losing grip, stop. Okay, go ahead, I got it. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, we got this guy, we found him. He got up into this uh, big heavy metal panel, grabbed him by the tail, drug him out of here, but we got him. Oh, hey, Steve, we got him, man. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, bull, dude. You're a freaking tyrant in there. Don't yeah. even pull that on me. You oh, guys are animals in there. I'm going to try to get this guy, and he's scaring the hell out of me. That was about the most messed up uh, animal removal I ever did, I have to say. That was, whew. Well, like I said, guys, thank you again. Get him in the truck. All right. Come on back. Let's have some fun. Let's get this okay. place open. We got to roll. We're going to do it. OK, guys. Right. Thanks. Cool. I think we go through those doors. Go check this out. Here. We had a great time on this job. It was cool. Also happy to get them possums out of there, and we found a nice location to release them the next day. They did after that ride. Yeah, they look pretty good. Yeah. Those okay. two seem to be getting along. That's encouraging. I'll get the two little ones. You get the big mama there. All right. From Hades to Eden. <laughs> That's where we took them. That's everybody's dream, isn't it? From a house of horrors to the big outdoors, this was one journey from hell. <laughs> gonna have to check this area out good make sure there's nothing in here that can injure uh, any of the people trying to enjoy the uh, haunted trail here whatever's horrible I'm looking for it and I'm gonna deal with it now this is gonna be a problem I've got to determine what is fiction and what is real they've got a plastic version of everything that I'm hunting that's real so in a flash I got to determine is it fake or real enter if you dare oh I dare Okay, looks like I'm into a scare area. We're gonna do an inspection to make sure everything's clear. Looking good, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and check this guy out, make sure we don't have any uh, brown recluses, anything, uh, any type of venomous spiders. We got a rock over here. Let me flip this dude real quick, make sure everything's cool. Oh, wait a minute. We got a very large coral snake in the wild here. You don't see them, they're very rare. Pound for pound, the most venomous snake in North America. I didn't bring any gloves. Wait a minute. To make matters worse, the coral snake is too small and thin for my tongue, so I've got to hand catch him. Ooh, and it got away from me. The climber, look at that. Yeah, boy, he's good, too. 
Look how well these snakes climb. This coral snake's extra long, thin body makes it excellent at climbing and slithering through small places. Unfortunately for me, it makes it even harder to catch. Okay, I got his tail. Oh, look at him. Got him. Oh, he's coming up at me. Whoa, this guy is super slippery and super vicious. If he whips his head around and bites me while I'm trying to grab him, I'm a goner. Now, here we go. Cruel snakes contain a powerful neurotoxin that quickly paralyzes the breathing muscles with respiratory failure occurring within hours. If I didn't get this snake, he would be a huge danger to the children walking through here. Uh, all right. Hey, buddy, thanks for the hand. I really needed it. One down, but there's got to be more where that came from. I'm going to continue my search and see what other creatures may be haunting this trail. OK, now I'm going to go ahead and look inside the coffin. I'm looking for snakes, I mean, raccoons, anything could be in there. Ooh. Holy crap, man. Found one right by my hand, man. I was that close to getting stung. Wow, man. Now that's a nasty right there. My friends, we've got ourselves a scorpion. They're native to North America. They do pack a wallop of a sting, man. They are some of the most venomous, deadliest arthropods in the world. Now, I don't relocate scorpions. I'm going to judge them to die. First, let me make sure that that's the only dude we got. The scorpions don't sit in broad daylight. They get under things. This is the only thing around here and the closest thing to my scorpion friend. So we're going to pull this back. Make sure you ain't got any friends. Woo Holy crap. There are a lot of scorpions under there. Oh my god, look at that. Just a nightmare. These scorpions are everywhere. I have to act fast. I don't want any of these nasties getting away where they can hurt someone later on. I got to spray them and kill them. Scorpions, they blend very well in the soil, so we're just going to saturate this entire area right here. Look at them just stinging like a maniac. Look at that. Ooh. Keep on fighting, brother. These guys sure put up a good fight, but they were no match for my pyrethroid. I was able to stop these stinging monsters and make sure none of them got away to cause trouble somewhere else. Now, this one here is dying from the poison. His uh, system is slowly shutting down. It'll take about two to three minutes for the scorpion to completely feel the effects of the uh, pyrethroid I used, and then he will die. OK, one last area to check. Now, this looks like just a bunch of uh, props and garbage laying here, but uh, I'm seeing a lot of harborage in here. Let's see what's going on. Now we're going for the mattress, see what's up on this thing. Hello, anybody? OK, clear on that cabinet. Whoa! We got racing stripe off the eye. That is, that's a water moccasin. Oh my god, you're huge. This guy's huge. I mean, an average water moccasin is three feet in length, maybe four. He looks way bigger. And not only is he big, he's venomous and deadly. I'm going to get this guy out of here right now. Gotcha. Whoa, strike it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, come on, man. Whoa. OK, I got him out. All right, I got to get him in the bucket. Yeah, head for the bucket, guy. That's where I want you anyway. Come on. He's getting away. Oh, he's in this fight. Oh. Oh, my god. If he strikes me, I'm freaking dead. Oh, yeah. This water moccasin is so fast and strong, he's all trick and no treat. He's striking at everything. All right, got him. Oh, he's mean. Look at that. Oh, God, look at that dude. Look at that. This bad boy is hissing, striking and dripping venom everywhere. He wants a piece of me bad, but I got to get him into that bucket. Oh, yeah. Wait for he gets out. Wow, man, if that snake got a hold of anybody, dead. This cannot happen. That's why Mike sends me out here to make sure it doesn't. This trail's got some problems, and the reason why is we got a water source back down here. I'm going to have to put a barrier down between the water source and the trail here, or somebody's going to get hurt. I got all the animals out of there, but I got to keep them out in the future. So what I did is I put a naphtothaline, sulfur, and garlic barrier around the perimeter. 
First thing they're gonna do is smell the naphthalene, which is gonna offend them. They go against their better judgment and continue toward the trail. Then they'll go through the sulfur and the garlic, which will burn. It pushes the animals back, keeps them off the trail, and that way the kids can just have the holiday fun that they're looking for. Ricky and I were at the Wingnuts Duck Camp trying to get a gator out of a duck blind. We jump into this thing and we find out we've got a nasty surprise and we got out of there as quickly as we could. Okay, I gotta go another panel. You got that gator? I got your back, I know that. Oh, oh, oh crap. Multiple snakes. God dang it, Woo. man. Whoa, lordy. Oh, that's poisonous, too. Yeah, yeah look at that. Good lord. Good How gracious alive. Damn, the snake. Okay, let me get this first snake, dude. Damn, There's two I'll snakes. Stick or something. Two snakes and a gator. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I'm going to have to have something. It was like a pit of hell in there. Gators, spiders, crawdads, and then snakes. Not just one, but there's two. And also, 110 degrees, and it stinks. Oh, God dang. All right, here we go, man. And it's a water moccasin. Yeah, it's poison. Look at that Holy yeah. crap. Yeah. Two water moccasins, yeah. I think. They both are, man. Do you got snake tongs on your truck? No, I don't. Seriously, you don't. I got glue boards. All right, we got to get quick thinking on this snake. Oh, man. All right, what do we got here? All right, got a stick. I can make this happen. We're going to have to do it with a stick. Yeah, I don't yeah, have anything with a stick. Right, I ain't even getting down there. It's too dangerous. Yeah, let's so much. get this little one first. Yeah. All right, Rick, you ready? I am, dude. Hey, guys, don't come any closer. I'm a little nervous. There's no telling how many more water moccasins are probably around this thing. OK. Uh, I'm not really comfortable with just taking them out and putting them on the ground. We're done with this little project. Yeah. What about that rotten bucket over there? Maybe we can put the snakes yeah. in that. Watch out, get might gator. Yeah, there might be yeah. more snakes over deal here. with the dang snakes. God, it stinks man. like crap. Toilet. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Let's dump all this putrid crap out and get the snakes in here. Oh, the big one's out. Yeah. Woo, she's a big oh, one. Oh, yeah, she is God, big. Yeah. Look at that. That is definitely a moccasin. Ain't no doubt about it. Oh, Lord. This all right, we got both crap. snakes in the same spot, dude. OK, give me my other stick. I got to have something, man. I can't. Well, no, I, I got to use the sticks well, to. No, but I got to have something. We get a bucket down here. Hey, guys, man, uh, when we start doing this, we got to be focused on what we're doing so we can get snuck up from behind. So if y'all could watch our backs, I'd okay. really appreciate it. Yeah, if we see any movement, I'll let you know. I ain't going let you. anything get on you. Thanks. Okay. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this little guy out first. All right. This ain't the best snake tongue in the world, but we're going to make it happen. So I like lousy snake tongue. Yeah. More like chopsticks. It's snake. <laughs> you got yeah. snake sticks. Yeah. yeah man. All right, he's coming up. You got him. All right, you got him? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Hang on. From around. Mm. Oh. It's a moccasin. I see it. Dump his ass in the bucket, then. Ricky, don't touch the snake. Mm -hmm. It's venomous. All right. Now you're going out the other one. <laughs> okay, this is a moccasin, too, I believe. Is he? Look how flat he's getting on a push down. Yeah. Boy, this one's fighting me pretty hard. OK, got him back over there. Watch out. Oh, he's tough. Oh, he went. Woo! Yeah. yeah, watch yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. okay. Watch. He can reach. Okay. Golly. Boy, he's tough. Yeah. yeah. Got him? Yeah. I'm trying. Cottonmouth. Yeah, yep, yeah that's look at cottonmouth. Yeah, cotton Straight mouth. up cottonmouth. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm telling you, dude. Yeah, these yeah. are venomous. No, I'm a believer now. I see you saw it? Oh, I did. All right. I told you. See you. Yeah, I did. <laughs> that's why you're the man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, oh, that'd been bad. <sighs> oh, OK. Hold on. Man, he's tough. Oh, oh, look at that. Did oh, you man. see the venom? Yeah. See? He oh, popped it, it out. See the venom? The God smell of venom? Smell it. Yeah. yeah. It's on your stick, man. That's the thing. OK, I, I ain't got this guy that secure, so I'm trying to bring him out of here. OK. So everybody be very careful here. OK, here we go. I got him. Got him. OK, everybody be very careful. I don't have a good grip on this guy. Everybody cool in the distance is a big, nasty snake, and he's going to get you if I drop him. Here we go. Hmm. All right, guys. Billy's got the second snake. He's definitely poisonous. OK. Get him in the bucket, and it's time for gator. Drop it. OK, 
Okay, but uh, we gotta throw something over the top of that bucket, because this snake is big enough to get out of that bucket. All right, I'll grab a, this over here. All right, all right, man, you ready? All right, dude. The little one's got me nervous. Is he trying to get out, the little one? Uh, he's, he's definitely eyeballing okay. me. All right, ready? Lead you back. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, not right. OK, that's good. You got it? Yeah. You got right. a good seal. I do. I was very nervous when they pulled the snakes up, because uh, I think it was Ricky who was checking them out, examining them, and they were holding it up there pretty long. I just wish they would have put it in the bucket a little faster, because my heart was pounding. OK, hold him. Let me get out of here. All right. Whew, All right, man. guys. OK. Whew. OK. How is it that every time we turn around, we got something poisonous trying to eat us? No kidding. I'm finally able to grab the gator, and instantly, he starts freaking out. He's not happy about being drug out of this water and wants to fight me every step of the way. Oh, he's heavy.